So in this video, guys, I'm going to show you some very, very interesting scenario unfolding right now with Bitcoin here in a daily time frame. And not just only that. Now, today we have a new CPI for the June month, which is also actually pointing out where the price of Bitcoin could be heading in upcoming days. We have very, very interesting price target here to the upside and also to the downside. So this video is definitely going to be one very, very important video because, guys, this CPI line is going to stay here for the whole June month. So the price target is not going to change until the month ends. So that's why the CPI target level is going to be one very very important price target label here for bitcoin in upcoming days and we are also going to talk about some price action in a smaller time frame so starting here in a daily time frame we are aware yesterday i showed you guys every time whenever we have seen this monthly candle close label if you look at the 31st this monthly candle closed exactly around 33,000 price label and you can see the next day right the 1st of february whenever the candle actually closed above this previous monthly candle close level that actually has indicated some very very bullish price momentum for bitcoin and also when the price closed the monthly candle exactly at the 28th of february you can see the next candle started above the previous monthly candle close level and what happened after that you can see again another bullish price action for bitcoin but whenever we have seen this for example if you look at the 31st of march right if you look at this candle here you can see the next candle the first april candle actually was not able to close above it we got a very very strong resistance and we also saw some pullback type of scenario before trying to break out of it and again getting gravitated here to the downside so now what i'm actually trying to show you here is that with each and every monthly candle open label or monthly candle close label doesn't matter however you call it you can see this line has always played a very very important role here in the bitcoin price action because you can see this 31st of march right this candle label acted as a very very strong resistance not just only the 31st of april candle but also this 31st of march candle and then we saw this pull back here to the downside and same line from this 28th of february you can see the monday candle lows label this line tried to act as a support we had this weak rejection here to the downside buyer stepped in but still when we had another pullback price tried to stay around this 28th of february monthly candle close level but was unable to find support and then we saw another price pullback and this price pullback you can see also ended exactly at this 31st of january candle close area so you can see around this price level of 33,000, that's where we found a very very strong support and now we are also hovering around that price area so this is also indicating the 31st of candle has already closed so now we have a new candle for this june month and according to this 31st of candle where did the monthly candle close exactly around this 37,300 price area and look at this the first june candle is below it this is clearly flashing us that now first june candle has closed below this monthly candle close label from this 31st of may right you can see here this is actually indicating the line here 37,300 is going to be one very very strong resistance line for bitcoin and it might also indicate we could see some sort of a flash cash type of scenario before price trying to break here in an upper duration because you can see here closing below this monthly candle close level we saw this flash crash before trying to break out of it you can see here we had this consolidation a pullback type of scenario and again price trying to break out of this so right now that's where what i'm actually expecting is some sort of a consolidation and maybe a small pullback before price trying to break here to the upper duration and i'm actually expecting the price of bitcoin in a june month is going to break above this 37,000 resistance line you can see here if i show you right in a daily time frame not just only with this monthly candle open label or monthly candle close label, but also if I add this Williams alligator indicator, as I've already said on my yesterday video, whenever you see this blue line, right, crossing over the red line and the green line, that indicates the trend here is weakening and we can see potential downward price movement. And whenever you see this green line at the top and blue line at the bottom, that indicates the trend here could be potentially seeing some upward price movement. And this here right now is still a, bearish crossover because you can see the blue line is still at the top and what did i also told you on my yesterday's video whenever you see right this bearish scenario playing out you can see when the price see this kind of relief rally this relief rally usually ends exactly around this red line and this here right right now if you look in our case the screen line 
he is acting as a resistance and not laying price to close above it so right now what i'm actually expecting a consolidation type of scenario and then price trying to break out of this rate line area that is sitting around 39,000 price label and why this 39,000 actually makes a lot of sense for a short time period for bitcoin is because you can see here so now you can see guys the price of bitcoin here is actually hovering around this 36,600 price area right but the cpi line has already plotted the potential price target for bitcoin in an upper duration and also here to the downside so what is going to happen next for bitcoin because according to the cpi indicator guys this cpi indicator is a leading indicator and it provides us information before the train actually starts moving so that's why this is a leading indicator not like moving averages bollinger bands they are all lagging indicator but this cpi line is a leading indicator because this here is already showing us the potential price target area for bitcoin for the whole june month so now if i start with the upward price target right if you look at this green line here this is the first monthly air one line for this june month and this monthly air one line is going to stay here until the end of june month so that's why right now this here is going to be our first price target labor for the june month and that is going to be around fifty five thousand one hundred twenty five dollar so now we are coming to the downside because since the price here is below the cpi line this is the top cpi this is the central cpi and this is the bottom cpi and if we monitor this price movement here you can see all this three cpi line has not been touched so this actually indicates now this here is a virgin cpr and according to the virgin cpi it has a power right to gravitate the price at least towards the bottom cpi line and this bottom cpi line is sitting around 39,400 price label so that's why i showed you with this williams alligator indicator i'm actually expecting a move here at least towards this red line area and that is around 39,000 price level so that's why now you know why i'm actually expecting pump here at least around the price level of this bottom cpi line that is sitting around 39,400 price level so that's why guys that's why right now since this is a virgin cpi there is a very likely scenario that price of bitcoin could at least touch this first line here to the downside and that is 39,437 so the central cpi is sitting around 41,637 and the top cpi is sitting around 43,827 dollars so that's why this three line here to the upside is also going to be our potential upward price target label but listen this guys but if we are going to find a strong rejection here if that is going to happen then we should be aware that the potential downward price target here has also been already placed so in that case the first target here to the downside according to the cpi line is going to be around twenty three thousand seven hundred sixty nine dollar that's why guys right now the price of bitcoin here is flashing a very very interesting scenario so now let's look at the previous example you can see why the cpi line actually make a lot of sense and why is this a leading indicator because when the price of bitcoin started this may month above the cpi line you can see we were hovering but this downward price target was already placed just like this one here you can see this target is already been placed right and when we started heading to the downside you can see this each and every cpi line acted as a very very strong support line right once we fail we came straight towards the next cpi line got a pullback and where did the pullback ended exactly after reaching the monthly s3 line you can see again the cpi line acted as a resistance price was unable to close above it and then we started consolidating and also even this pullback type of scenario and now this here is also indicating hey maybe right according to this analysis we are finding a very strong resistance because we are aware the price here has closed below the monthly candle open label that was sitting around thirty seven thousand three hundred dollars so that's why now we are expecting some sort of a consolidation and even a small pullback type of scenario before price trying to break here again at least towards this monthly bottom cpi line that is sitting around 39,400 price level so let's see how this one is going to play out for bitcoin because if you look at this whole scenario in a smaller time frame right now you can see here yesterday when i showed you guys this one scenario here in a four hour time frame we talked about this because i told you guys that this resistance line right has already been broken and what did i also said this price movement 
in most of the cases has seen a pullback after seeing a breakout and a consolidation before move here in an upper direction so that's why that's why since price here has also closed below the monthly candle open label for this 31st of may that's why i'm also expecting some sort of a consolidation even a smaller pullback again retesting the previous temporary resistance line because we are aware this train line here the blue train line here acted as a resistance 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 plenty of time now even if we are going to see a pullback around this 35,000, 35,600 this same line could be acting as a very very strong support line and then i'm actually expecting more of consolidation before price again trying to break in an upper duration because if you look at this in a bit different way you can see here the price movement what we can do here guys you can see very very clearly that this price here could be also forming another very interesting scenario which is known as symmetrical triangle and now if you look at the price structure here right now you can see resistance 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 right not just only the resistance from this 31st of may right also this upper line area of this symmetrical triangle which is also pointing out that maybe we could see potential price pullback type of scenario towards the bottom line here right or the lower line of this symmetrical triangle which previously also acted as a strong support and then maybe we could see and potential price movement at least around this 39,000 to 39,400 which is the bottom CPI line and also this red line so this is actually what i see right now playing out for bitcoin and even if we are going to see any sort of a pullback right now in a short time period i'm actually still expecting some bullish scenario to play out because this year yesterday i showed you could be making a very nice double bottom type of scenario right but since this leg here the right leg is looking weak right even if we are going to see a pullback as i've already said i'm actually expecting a strong support around this 35,000 to 35,500 and then a potential breakout type of scenario at least towards this 39,000 to 39,500 price level so that's why guys right now as i've already said you market here is very shaky so please don't over leverage yourself and also use proper risk management so these are some of the scenarios i thought sharing with you in today's episode i hope you guys like it i hope this video was helpful enough if that's the case then please hit the like button and for those individuals watching this for the first time hit that subscribe button and the bell so by saying this i'm signing out my name is anup bye bye guys